Um, my name is Adi Barkin. I'm one of the co-directors of the Fed Up campaign. Um, and I've been at CPD for over five years uh, in the fight. So a year ago, I was diagnosed with ALS, um, which is a neurodegenerative disease uh, that is pretty quickly paralyzing my whole body. The bills that the Republicans are trying to pass are atrocious for our whole country um, and also for me and my family personally. Uh, they would lead to automatic, enormous cuts to Medicare um, and uh, likely to the Medicare Disability Program that I'm going to rely on to keep me alive. So I came to add my voice to the chorus of people uh, saying that this bill uh, needs to be killed. I live in Southern California. I live in Southern California. Just like Congressman Issa. Just like Congressman Issa. But unlike him. But unlike him. I don't have. I don't have. Five hundred million dollars. Five hundred million dollars. And unlike him. And unlike him. I haven't been indicted. I haven't been indicted. Carjacking. For carjacking. Twice in my life. Twice in my life. I'm here because I believe. I'm here because I believe. That we should build an economy. That we should build an economy. That works for everybody. That works for everybody. With rising wages. With rising wages. And good jobs. And good jobs. For everybody. For everybody. For black people. For black people. For Latinx people. For Latinx people. For white people. For white people. For people of color from every corner. For people of color from every corner. Of this country. Of this country. Congressman Issa appears to disagree. Congressman Issa appears to disagree. This is what democracy looks like. What should you tell my son if they if you pass this bill and he cuts funding for disability and I can't get a ventilator? See, this is this the president's bill. We've been we've been knowing that we need to do corporate tax reform for a long time. We're at a step with the rest of the world. And uh, to be competitive, we've got to have a more conducive tax environment. I do think that the economy will grow. We've got to get better. 1.8% growth that we've experienced over the past several years. The leadership in Congress is saying one thing and oftentimes doing something else. They said taxes won't go up to the middle class. It's like 80 million families are going to see tax hikes. They said it would be deficit neutral. This is $1.5 trillion, $1 trillion, uh, the, one trillion uh, dynamically scored. So we're, are, are you supposed to trust them? Is my wife supposed to trust them that they're going to not implement PECA when it's the law of the land? So I think um, it means a lot for all of us to do our best to step up uh, in this time of crisis and join the resistance. And to me, the lesson is that you have to fight uh, and do your best and um, see how the chips fall. Uh, and already, even this week, um, the tax bill is being delayed more than uh, we thought it was going to be last week.